2020 was a huge year for some of the world's biggest corporations. I'm certainly thankful that I made some wise investments before the stock market exploded. But exactly which companies succeeded and which ones suffered? Today, we're looking at the 10 most valuable companies in the world. Number 10. TSMC TSMC may not be a recognizable name, but if you own a smartphone or laptop, there's a good chance you own one of their products. The Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company makes semiconductors for corporations like Apple, Intel, and Texas Instruments. As more consumers snap up phones and tablets, TSMC's share price has risen astronomically. At the end of 2020, they were valued at $565 billion. Mark Liu is the executive chairman of TSMC. He filled the role after the company's founder stepped down in 2018. It's unclear exactly how much TSMC stock Liu owns, but it's estimated that he's worth well over $1 billion. Though he was born in Taiwan, Liu moved to the United States to finish his education. He got a PhD in electrical engineering from the University of California, Berkeley, and that education has served him well as he continues to rake in billions every year. Number 9. Alibaba Alibaba is another massive conglomerate. This Chinese business specializes in e-commerce, business-to-business sales, and retail. It is currently worth $628 billion, making it the ninth most valuable in the world. In the 19 years since its inception in a small apartment in Hangzhou, the Chinese company has blossomed into one of the most diverse and valuable corporations in the world. Today, Alibaba is competing on a global scale against and in several instances outperforming its more well-known American counterparts, including Google, Amazon, PayPal, and eBay. Alibaba's CEO is a charismatic man named Jack Ma. His net worth is now approximately $50.9 billion. And while that number is very impressive, it's actually down $11 billion from his 2020 peak. This is because China is starting to crack down on some of its largest tech companies. In order to reduce the power of these monopolistic corporations, China fined Alibaba and delayed the IPO of its financial arm Ant Group. Still, I don't exactly feel too bad for Mr. Ma. His net worth still rose by roughly $4.3 billion in 2020 overall. Number 8. Tesla Tesla had its best year on record in 2020. In fact, it managed to reach a valuation of $668 billion by the end of the year. This catapulted Elon Musk into the realm of multi-billionaires. He is now worth an estimated $183 billion, making him the wealthiest person on the planet. Though he still continues to trade this role with Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, Musk managed to make more than $150 billion in the last year alone. That's because the world is moving rapidly towards renewable energy, and Musk has huge investments in both electric cars through Tesla and solar panels through Solar City. And this is before we even even mention his numerous other businesses like SpaceX, The Boring Company, and Neuralink. Needless to say, Tesla is a relative newcomer on the most valuable list, but it is most likely here to stay. Number 7. Tencent Tencent is one of the biggest conglomerates in the world. With holdings in search engines, e-commerce, retail, video games, real estate, software, virtual reality, ride-sharing, banking, and financial services, among many others, it is worth a whopping $683 billion. Tencent was founded by Ma Watang, also known as Pony Ma, in 1998. The entrepreneur grew up in southern China, where his father worked as the manager of a major state-owned port. After graduating from Shenzhen University with a degree in computer science in 1993, he landed a job developing software for pages. At the time, China had an average of just one computer for every 100 people. Still, Ma stayed in Shenzhen, making $176 per month at his first job. As a result, he had a front-row seat to China's tech boom in the mid-1990s. It paid off because Pony Ma is now worth $71.6 billion. Number 6. Facebook Facebook is a relatively controversial company, but none of its recent scandals have put
put a damper on either profits or popularity. Facebook is in a league of its own. For example, Facebook's 2.4 billion users make up around 31% of the world's population. Only companies such as Coca-Cola and McDonald's can compare to such a worldwide reach, and neither of these companies can compare to Facebook's ad revenue. By the end of 2020, its valuation was over $776 billion, making it the sixth most valuable overall. Facebook's CEO Mark Zuckerberg was made famous in the 2010 movie The Social Network and has been in the spotlight ever since. In the following years, he has faced a number of controversies, but that hasn't prevented him from racking up a respectable net worth of $96.4 billion. Number 5. Alphabet Google is by far the most visited website in the world. These days, it is just the flagship business of the enormous Alphabet Incorporated, which is valued at $1.18 trillion. It is the parent of some of the most famous companies like Waymo, Verily, Nest Labs, Google Fiber, and others. With more people spending time online during 2020, Alphabet's profits skyrocketed. Although it is facing several antitrust investigations around the world, Alphabet is still looking extremely strong. Its co-founders are among the richest people on Earth. Sergey Brin is worth $88.9 billion, and Larry Page is worth $91.7 billion. Google's history began in 1995 when Larry Page met Sergey Brin. At the time, Larry Page was a PhD student at Stanford University, and Sergey was considering studying there. In the succeeding years, they managed to form one of the strongest business partnerships in history. Number 4. Saudi Aramco Saudi Aramco, officially the Saudi Arabian oil company, is the public oil company connected with the Saudi government. For many years, this massive petroleum company was closed to foreign investment, but that all changed in 2019 when Saudi Aramco offered its first initial public offering, or IPO. It raised $25.6 billion in its IPO, making it the world's largest IPO in history. History. It is difficult to pin down the exact valuation of Saudi Aramco, both because a large majority is owned by the Saudi royal family and because the price of oil fluctuates constantly, meaning that the company's value can vary by billions in a single day. With that being said, Forbes estimates that the value is close to $1.5 trillion, making it number four on our list. Because Saudi Arabia has an absolute monarchy, the royal family controls most of the wealth in the the country, but Aramco still has a CEO. Amin Nasir has held the position since 2015 and has an estimated net worth of more than $5 million. Number 3. Amazon Amazon.com is the largest e-commerce site in the world. Initially only serving as an online book market, the Seattle-based company has set the standard for cloud computing and all manner of online sales. It is now worth $1.63 trillion, making it the third most valuable overall. Of course, I remember when they only sold books, but that was many years ago, and trust me, I'm glad I bought some Amazon stock back in the day. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos has been the richest person on Earth for many years, though other billionaires like Elon Musk are currently battling for that title. Jeff's current net worth hangs roughly around $192 billion, according to Forbes. Number 2. Microsoft Founded more than 45 years ago, Microsoft is still one of the most valuable companies in the world. The software company was founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen and quickly became a technological juggernaut. Everyone is familiar with their programs like Microsoft Word and Excel. The company has a valuation of $1.68 trillion, and its founders are still among the wealthiest people on the planet. With a net worth of $123 billion, Bill Gates is still in the top five wealthiest people on Earth. This is in spite of the fact that he wants to give away most of his wealth during his lifetime. I think he needs to start giving it away more quickly if he ever wants to achieve that goal. Number 1. Apple Apple is officially the most valuable company in the world. The technology company manages to do something unique. They sell expensive luxury items on a massive scale. Their computers, phones, tablets, and software are popular all over the world. That launched Apple's valuation to an unbelievable $2.25 trillion. Even as people struggle 
world during the pandemic, their brand loyalty to Apple never wavered. Because CEO Tim Cook was not an Apple founder, his net worth is only around $1.5 billion. This is still a large sum of money, but it pales in comparison to CEOs like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Regardless, Apple is on track to grow for many years to come, which bodes well for Tim Cook's wallet. So, there you have it, the 10 most valuable companies in the world. Which company do you think will be the most valuable in 2021? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And as always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip pip to doodly do.